So hopefully you guys do enjoy this house tutorial and make sure you are subscribed to the channel to never miss one out below. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So as you guys can see, this is the foundation of the build and this is what you should build before starting the tutorial because it makes building the house very, very easy. But without further ado, let's get straight into this one. So all we need to do is we need to use our oak wood planks and build three pillars right next to each other with a one block gap in between. Then we need to just build one block in, in between the gaps just like that to have a little door area. Then either side, we need to build seven pillars starting one block in front of the previously placed wooden oak planks. Just like that so one two three four five six seven then we need to do the same on this side as well just like that same and then what we now need to do is these two layers need to be built up to the same length as this wooden planks right here just like that So now that we've done that, what we need to do here, this back wall, we need to just fill in a back wall. So just join these up with three blocks and make sure the blocks are the same height. And now once we've done that, we need to come over to this point here. So as you guys can see, line yourself up, line yourself up with where the wood was placed. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it six? Should be six actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the six blocks, that's where you want to place your wood. I just used the wood to count the number of blocks and then place wood. So from here count one two three and on the fourth one we place three blocks of wood and three blocks of wood here so all you need to do is just place two pillars of three blocks of wood just right next to the house coming out from this point right here and then just makes you line it up as well so if you got confused just refer back to the first picture it will give you everything you need so what we need to do now is we need to get ourselves white concrete and build a roof across the top so we're going to build a roof across here and it's just going to be a very very standard roof that just goes straight across the top so we're not going to do anything that goes around the edges we're just going to do a straight across the top roof so basically just closing this box just like that so now that the box is closed all we need to do is we need to add one block layer going around this entire block a one block layer going around this entire block so i'll show you what that looks like now so start anywhere just adding a one block layer and go around this entire cube just like that so very very simple and then now we're done so now that we've done that we now need to do is you need to come to this left side here and we need to build up by one two three four five and then we need to add a wall here over here Now that we've done that, we need to add a second roof. So bring a block out from here, bring your white concrete out all the way until it lines up with this point right here. So it should be the same length. And then we just need to add this roof along this point here. So now that we've done that, what you now need to do is you need to use your oak wood planks and build across one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. And then, so basically all we need to do is like a small, small rectangle. So just a rectangle going around the edge like this. And then as you guys can see, it should be three, three by three. And then we're just gonna fill that in with the black stained glass panes, just like that. So as you guys can see, we should have just, you know, used wood to build five along the bottom, five along the top, and then two on either side. I'm gonna do that again. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two on either side. So one, two, and one, and two. And then all we need to do is just fill it in with glass. So glass along the top layer, glass along the bottom layer. And then we are done. So for here, we need to add the wood and add it along here, add it along the edge and fill in this with a wall with oak wood planks and while you're doing this you want to make sure that it doesn't touch the edge so your wall shouldn't be on this layer it should just be on a one block incline so one block right here so now that we've done that what we need to do is we need to come to the edge right here so this block right here and then count over one block and build a layer out all the way until it touches the wood like this until it's lined up with the wood 
and then do the same here so build a layout like this until it's lined up with the wood and then what you now need to do is you now need to extend that by one on either side so one and one and then join these up like that and then now that those are joined in all we need to do is fill this area in so fill this area in to give yourself a little sort of balcony area So now that's that's done for this balcony area you want to place a one block here and another block here then in between you want to make sure that you use your black stained glass panes to add a sort of i guess you could say a railing or just a glass glass railing and then of course right here we can knock out two blocks for the door or you can knock out three blocks depending on how big you want your opening to be now for the downstairs area we want to knock out one block or two blocks for a ladder that's what we're going to be using in this modern house since it's a really small modern house if we get ourselves a ladder and the ladder we get should be placed right here so that you can you know easily access your modern house there you go and as you guys can see it gives you a really really nice view really really easy and from here as well it gives you a really really nice view so the house is pretty much done but there's still a few things that need to be done as well we need to add ourselves a standard oak door. You want to make sure you come behind the door and then go like that and then place it. There we go. So what we now need to do is we need to get ourselves some leaves and you want to get yourself some polished andesite because we're going to be doing the um, be doing the pathway of the house and we're going to be doing the outside of the house like this area there, which probably could be a garage or I don't know. guys. It could be really whatever you want it to be. So what we're going to do now is for here, we're just going to use it for polished andesite. So we're going to build a three block path so we're going to knock out three blocks for five so one two three four five five so there's already one one two three four five oh gosh i can't count guys but just know that this is five blocks so yeah i probably should have um placed the door let me just use this so yeah and what i'm going to do now is yes yeah, so just make sure that you replace the door because you will have to do that so what I need to do now is you want to use your oak leaves then on this white pillar build it out and on this white pillar build it out to line up with the pathway your pathway doesn't have to be this small your pathway can be as long as you want it to be I just chose mine to be this small because I just want it to be a really really small and nice and neat house so what we're going to do now is we're going to come around to the back of the house as well so we're going to come around to the back of the house and then we're going to just start there and then we're going to bring it all the way around these leaves and come down like this right next to the wood and then make sure it's the same length as that previously placed leaves like that so this area underneath the house it can either be used as a garage space or just general space for i don't know just pretty much anything now some people what they tend to do is i was thinking like on the original design for a house i had you could add another additional two more pillars like that so two pillars right there just because it makes the house look i guess you could say a bit more modern and it looks like it's actually holding it up but it's really up to you guys and yeah so this area here you can just put stone and yeah that's pretty much it if you want to you know continue the grass take it, taking the leaves all the way back around like that it looks really really nice looks really really awesome but i i don't know with this area here i just don't really like it so i just put the leaves to a stop like somewhere there I, I know it might look bad from the back but it's better than how it looks from the front so yeah this is how the modern house looks i really really like it. it's really really small really really good and yeah i'm just gonna add some stone there now and that's gonna be the end of the house guys so if you guys did enjoy this video do not forget to leave a like on the video do not forget to comment down below what you thought of this house tutorial if you did enjoy it it'd be amazing if you could leave a subscription because your subscriptions mean everything and a like and if you guys do want me to build anything else uh just leave it down in the comment section because i'm not just limited to building modern houses although i know it's really popular at the moment i'll build pretty much anything that can be built in minecraft so yeah without further ado guys it's been juice mc and until the next time i guess i'll see you all in my next episode